Well, back here on Camp Geeks, we're looking back at some more footwear. So let's get into it. Back to Camp Geek. So today I'm looking at some footwear that I've been wearing for a little over a month now. Um, and it's from a company called Kuru. Um, they are unique. I'm going to give you that real quick out of the bat. They This is their Chicane series. Uh, this is the Mustang Brown um, color. Um, retail on these sit about $145. Um, however, I actually reached out to Kuru. Uh, I found their from their website at least and the information that I was reading about it they're very unique and I really wanted to show these uh, as an option for people that have maybe some foot pain and because uh, they actually base a lot of their technology on uh, orthopedic type stuff and it's they're not orthopedics however the thing about them is is they're shaped differently so I like looking at different footwear looking at technology and stuff like that and with these specifically and this comes down to heel pain uh, arch support things like that these are really really different I, I honestly have to attest to that um, they tell you they're different they tell you they're very supportive they tell you they're very comfortable I can tell you with absolute honesty they're not joking because they are different and specifically excuse me you will really notice the difference in the heel and uh, the easiest way to describe it is, I guess, if you look, if you're thinking about when you plant your foot on a piece of foam, because most insoles are just standard foam, uh, you put weight on it and the foam just kind of flattens out and your foot goes from this to like a wider version of it, right? Um, so that's basically what your heel does. So your heel is kind of shaped, kind of has an oblong on the outside. It just squishes. These are different how the sole does it and they have kind of a neat little diagram on their website um and it it's what actually intrigued me to contact them because rather than allowing your foot to disshape and widen it doesn't it, it basically it, it reshapes the insole to keep the shape of your foot regular and uh, not allow your 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 heel to flatten out and and get uncomfortable over a while get that heel pain right these don't do that and it is weird, especially the first time I put them on and started walking around the house, I thought, whoa, that's different. And of course, like anything that's different, you don't know if it's something you like or if it's not something you like. Um, they, you know, they claim uh, uh, arch support and they definitely have good arch support. They definitely tell, they tell you heel support. Um, this is the leather version um, and they do offer a non-leather version. These are really good for hiking. They're really good for biking. They're really good for a lot of things. Now, these are not clipless pedals, right? There's going to be standard pedals. I've used these on se uh, several motorcycle trips now. Um, and you can actually attest to that because you can see where my shift lever is on the leather. Uh, because they're really comfortable. So let me bring the camera in. Let me show you what it looks like uh, a little bit closer. So I personally always order size 10. Um, I always hope that they fit because in all reality size 10 typically is my size um, But of course every shoe is a little bit different this definitely the shoe definitely uh, Fits as expected is maybe the best way to put it. They do offer a wider version as well. I'm typically normal in that regard um, the insoles themselves are full of dog hair um, but you can see they kind of have a, a rounded kind of appeal to them because they have this chassis, and I don't think I can remove that, um, and that's what makes them different. And they have this, this heel pad chassis down here that has basically softer portions and harder portions right in the middle. So basically, if you, if you see the green portions, those are kind of a hard plastic, and then the, the gray portions are like a, a rubber, right? Not, not like foam, more like a, a real rubber. Uh, and so they're... they're uniquely different and the crazy thing is uh, you can't really see it, it kind of goes up a little ways for that support it's probably really hard to see there we go a little bit up in there um so it's it they're crafted to work together and they have even on their insole they have uh, a, a different two different types of foam rubber on these guys here and how it's just kind of unique because typically when you you have that heel strike 
the the foam down here squishes out to the point where you have no you know it just squishes the foam to where you essentially have no comfort at all and then your foot flattens out and then after repeats of that you get a lot of heel pain these you don't get that it really does a fantastic job i don't know how much better they could do to be honest without putting huge amounts of foam in here um you can tell that these have a lot of comfort built into them like i said these are the full grain leather uppers on these they also offer a version that does not it's a little bit cheaper if you do not do the, the leather version um the unique thing, and actually my, my kids noticed it right away, as you can see, of course I didn't do a very good job on tying, is, is how the uh, laces kind of curve, right? Um, kind of neat. When I first got them out of the box, I was like, well, that's different. I don't know if I like that or don't like that or what. Um, it doesn't really have any effect. It's just for looks, to be honest, more than anything else. Um, the laces tend to work pretty good. Um, they don't really tend to untie themselves very easily. I do double knot typically, especially if I'm on my motorcycle. Um, and like I said, you can tell <laughs> based on the nice dark spot where my shifter is, uh, which I've been riding my motorcycle out with these. But they're very comfortable. Uh, I've been I've been hiking with them. I've been riding my bike with them. I'm riding my motorcycle with them. I've been on uh, my skateboard with them. I've been kind of doing a whole bunch of different stuff and this is the, the chicane which is this model is kind of their hiker um go for shoe now one thing i will say is that when you have your when, when these are on your feet there's not going to be a whole lot of ankle support and of course that's it's a low right it's not anything really high it's not going to have a lot of ankle support in this regard when i have these on they feel different because the you, your foot doesn't like go down into the shoe and then the shoe wraps around your foot and your your it's the shoe right um it feels different it's hard to describe um but when your foot's in it um it's it's just a little bit different so in that regard uh that would be the one note that i would say if you have ankle problems um these are not going to give you maybe the ankle support that you may or may not need when you're hiking specifically um light hiking or like a trekking type shoe these are fantastic um the actual sole themselves they have a real good amount of grip to them um i have nothing bad to say about it uh longevity of wear is hard to tell without actually using it over a long period of time um hence as i use these i will probably make comments in the description if i notice that they do wear out uh, or, or wear unevenly uh, compared to my other shoes right so that's uh that's the kuru chicane up front up close so here are the shoes. I'm going to go ahead and put them on so you can see what they look like while they're going on. Um, the box itself opens up nice and wide. It's really easy to step into. And uh, cinches up pretty easily. There are plenty of extra lace, as you can see, at least in my regard, so they're pretty long. Um, like I, anymore, I typically always double knot. I don't like it, but I've always, I tend to do that ever since uh, I found some of my shoes that don't like it. They like to untie themselves. So real quick there. Now I actually have a nice lightweight sock on. I have worn these with uh, like a lighter, a lighter wool sock, not a really thick one, and they worked just fine. Uh, but I will say I, I like more of an athletic type sock anyway, so that's typically what I wear. Um, but you can see what these look like. Walking on some sticks and stuff, right? And of course, time right. Uh, but they're very very comfortable. I can't say that they have an enormous amount of room in them But they are not tight at all to be honest about it. They really aren't um, They are goofy feeling um, Compared to regular shoes and that's I think more than anything is just kind of because of the shape and specifically with the heel itself um, It as I walk it, it feels different. It does not feel like a traditional shoe uh, It's not slipping so much. It really isn't um, it just it has a different feel and it definitely takes some getting used to I'm used to them now um, But kind of thinking about it back when the first uh, Definitely probably the first two or three times I had them on I thought it was really goofy um, And I remember the first The first hour I had them on I was even going to my wife like whoa these are different These are way different than what my traditional shoes are like so um, But do I like them? Yes, I do and that's what they look like putting them on so this is exactly how they shipped them to me. Um, the box is not a traditional shoe box, although it is inside, I guess. It kind of just kind of slides out of the box that they send you. And they ship as normal with just like the standard stuff in them. Um, 
I like them. I like them a lot. And if you have plantar fasciitis or if you have uh, any heel pain in, in general, uh, maybe bone spurs, things like that, anything that has to do with the foot that you don't want to use the standard orthopedic stuff that the... Uh, this is something to try. And one thing that they do offer through their website, if you order directly from them, they do offer a 45 day return policy. So um, definitely something to check out. Uh, I would, you know, they make women's and men's varieties. These are the men's chicanes, the more the hiking shoe. That's why they're on the camping channel here. Um, but they do offer other varieties. Definitely check them out. I highly recommend them. I really do. They are very comfortable. Probably the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn. That's a hard one to say because I have some shoes I love. Um, but I've been wearing these a lot because they're so darn comfortable. So, that said, guys, uh, yeah, awesome shoe. I have nothing against them. Oh, and I will say this. Uh, walking them in wet grass, they did really good with that as well. Um, I didn't treat them at all. I, 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 Like any review, I just grab the product and use it, right? And that's... Yep, I get whatever damage to them, stuff like that. That's what I got them for, is to really put them to the test and, and see how they work in real uh, real everyday life. Um, I wore them through wet grass constantly for uh, a good half hour, purposefully, to see how wet my feet would become. Um, now, it wasn't pouring rain or anything, but it was wet grass from, uh, from rain. And... Uh, yeah, it did pretty good, actually. Uh, uh, so, yeah. If you have any questions for me on the Kuru shoes, definitely comment below. Head over to campgeeks.com. You can actually get a hold of me directly from there. Like, comment, subscribe if you could for me. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, if you've tried Kuru shoes, like them or not, that's the comment section is below. Just go ahead and blast them or say how great they are. Or, you know what? Head over to their website and take a peek at them. If you've, if you've never heard of them, because I didn't before I stumbled upon them, um, I highly recommend checking them out. So thank you, Kuru, for sending these over to me. You sent me some of my favorite pairs of shoes that I own now. So, yes. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you back here for your future video, review, tutorial, whichever, here on Camp Geeks. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you soon.